starting to tail now guys so yeah i don't like to to target ground on high tide as there's a lot of peckers um, a lot of steam brass and and uh, stump nose, but small ones like 10 15 centimeters so yeah it's yeah it's just a lot of peckers they waste your time so it's best to target them just before uh, low and just uh, the first two hours of pushing tide um, there are different spots that you can fish grunt on high on the deeper channels or maybe different banks but this specific bank you know, I just like to talk with them on low you can see them tail people say with a the tail they don't eat but obviously when a grunt it tails it, um, it blows um, into the holes and, and blows out the, the prawns and eat them so when your prawn is anywhere close to it it's going to find it and, maybe a bit easier to, to see it through the polarized lens um, at the back there the darker water represents the deeper water and the brownish water here in front is the mud bank and I'm not sure if you can see the, the grass patches but in those uh, channels I like to put my bait <laughs> Just making some friends jealous. Ah, not so good. So look in the corner. Okay, fifth grunter. Also wants to go back. Yeah, uh, just want to check what the length I think it should be size. 40, 44. But yeah, it's a bit too small. Yeah, let's put him back. Oh, that fed cook, that grunt of fed cook was delicious. Um, I don't really like to eat fish, but when I do, it should be like that. Straight from the water onto the pan or onto the fire. Always gives a nice vibe, like a camping vibe. And you are, we, we had some hash browns on it, onion rings, some tomatoes and mayo. Oh, it was lacquer. <laughs> On. Let's 
kind of stuck in the in the grass patch. Oh, there it comes out. Uh, it's either swimming towards me <laughs> or it's not big. Uh, there it turns left. No, it turns, it turns right. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna go now. Oh, not that big. Oh, it's a small one. Small. Good. Let's see. In the corner. Okay, no, he says he wants to go back. Okay, now we're going to put him back. Uh, it could be a size bug. It's too small to keep. So, so we go. Already got two that we're going to eat. Maybe we want to take two home. Um, and then eat one. So I'm gonna look for another another one. Okay. I think I'm on here with <laughs> something. Ah, oh, what is this? Small fish, small grunter I think. On the fly rod, look at that bend. Is this? What? Is this? <coughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that guys, he's going into the hole. What? This is crazy. I need to cut it loose now. I obviously want to remove the hook, but I think that hook is that hook is gone. So that might be a problem. Okay, so I removed the hook and the line that was wrapped around it. So I think you'll be okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so there's bull sharks in here, snakes, and some grunters. What do you guys think it is? A snake or an eel? <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, 
now guys, catching ground is so much fun. Um, you can bring your family, bring your kids, target these fish if you know how. It is a lot of fun if you don't know how. It is frustrating, so um, hopefully these tips can help you catch a few of these grunters. Beautiful fish. Okay, another beautiful spotty. 48 centimeters, uh, but we're going to put him back. Well, yeah, beautiful fish. Oh, this mud is so messy. <laughs> okay, on with another nice fish. Just hoping before I leave today. I can catch a 70 centimeter plus, but this one looks good. This one doesn't look too bad. <laughs> yeah, looks like a nice fish. Nice fish. Now, like I said, guys, just play them softly, soft hands. Don't pull the hook. Rather wait two or five minutes longer and get your fish. I'm sinking in this mud. Ooh, this is a nice fight. Ooh. Yeah, guys. And this is what we're after. Bring the plan together and uh, hunting down your species. And I'm sinking in the mud here. <laughs> Still low tide, so uh, it's, it's quite soft. Okay, it's coming in. It's coming in. Ah, oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, it's also about 65, like the like my first grunter. Yeah. Sixty-five maybe. Yeah, sixty-five I'll I'll say I'll check now. Another beautiful grunter. This one is 59 centimeters. I think it's like the 10th grunter. Yeah, most of them are small. This is a better size. Yeah, let's get him back. So yeah, guys, you can you can actually fish grunter in uh, this water I'm standing in, but I I just want to throw on a specific spot, and uh, the sinker is a bit too light, so I need to walk in a little bit. Perfect. So yeah, my second rod I'm just going to place on the other side of this little channel.
Ooh. 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 That's a bit of fish. Oh, it's a bit of fish. Oh, he's over fifty. Grunt here, I think it's about 50 centimeters. You guys know that's following my videos. My friend Corey that's fishing with me. Um, I'm gonna keep this one for him. Corey, he's your first though. Ah, small. Probably a small stiani. Okay, so once again on the videos, it always looks easy. So I just want to show you what happens when uh, you're fishing, doing the same thing just at the wrong time. A little stump nose. So yeah guys, uh, when I was fishing for the grunter, I didn't catch one of these and this was like the first throw I wanted to show you. So yeah, it's full of pickers here, full of small fish and they just take your bait in an instant so it's not worth it. It's rather um, time to, to go eat or to rest a bit but yeah, let's put it back. That's a nice fish. Hello. 